You start off with simply tough, hard-fought ball game. Certainly not the final score uh, that you would have wanted. What happened? Uh, you know, we, we lost to a very good team that really played good defense, and and we played really good defense. But it came down to, you know, I think the the, the experience factor was somewhat. But but they made big plays when they had to, and and they got to the foul line uh, a lot. And good, strong teams do that. And young and young and experienced teams, you know, we haven't learned how to get to the foul line and how to get um, fouled and, and 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 get big buckets, you know. And we put a lot of uh, pressure tonight on Akeem Williams. And at the end of the game, it was just he didn't have much left. And and uh, but we we made uh, a very very good basketball team work really hard to beat us. We were offensively, we could have easily been out of that game, you know, midway through that second half down. 12, 15 points, and we were down five points because we defended. We held them to, thir- I believe, 36% field goal shooting, uh, and that's a very good shooting team. They were the number one uh, three-point shooting uh, team in the conference coming into the game, and we defended them, and it was just a, uh, a situation where experience kind of prevailed, and youth uh, uh, made it, uh, our, our young guys just didn't come through, and we're not going to win every game. <laughs> that's our intent. But we're not going to win every game. But God, I'm so proud of our guys. And you know, we played the kid Noms. Noms, oh, uh, he just got eligible today. Put him in the game, and he, he made a great steal. And then I guess he double dribbled. And there were so many. You know, we told our players all week that the little things are going to win the big games. And this was a big game, and we didn't do enough little things correctly. We had crucial turnovers. We had, uh, you know, we broke down defensively, and uh, the little things added up to a, to a, to a. Uh, to a loss, but a, but a loss where you know what I'm proud of those guys in the white and red, uh, blue trim uh, uniforms. Really am proud of them, and and uh, they gave it everything that they had. And, and, and tonight it wasn't enough, but um, that was a good basketball team, and the credit goes to Bentley. There was a point in the second half, I think Chas Goggins was telling me that uh, went nine minutes with one basket. Right. Is that Bentley's defense, or were, were there things that we just weren't doing? You know what? That's that's college basketball. I mean, that's that's a, a a Northeast 10 war that if you don't score for nine minutes and you're not down 12, 15, you got a, you got a tough kid, bunch of kids. So that's going to happen, you know. And right now, uh, you know, we have holes in our offense, and we're looking to plug them. And and you know, Robbie just never got on, you know, other than early. We we just we scored early, easy, and sometimes that backfires. And then it got harder late. And and you know, we, I think we were tired. Both teams were tired. That was a that was a slugfest. So to, to not score a field goal for nine minutes and still be in the game and have a chance with the ball to take the lead at the end it says a lot about our integrity and, and, and the constitution of the team. But but execution wins at the end of the game, and, and we, we fail to execute. Now going back to the turnovers that, that you made, I mean, that they only committed eight fouls in the entire game, which, right. is, which is amazing. But, I mean, sometimes maybe the best defense is a careless offense. Yeah, I, I don't understand that question, but it's a good question. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, we got, yeah, like, I, I don't think our offense, I, I think teams, good teams will make your offense look careless. I don't think we were careless. Coming into the game, we were the number one team with assisted turnover ratio in, in the league. And tonight we had, you know, we had 21 turnovers because now we, you know, we, we have a lot of people playing in different positions and we're trying to, you know, make do. And, you know, so we're trying to, you know, two weeks ago we had Scotty and, and Matt and now they're not here. Well, that's college basketball, but now people have to step up, and, and our guy stepped up great today, but there's only so much, you know, you, you're giving the ball to a freshman at the end of the game, and, and they're dogging them, and they play good defense, and and uh, I think it's a combination of, of, of our, our inexperience, but more, you know, Bentley's experience and Bentley's ability to win games, and, and they've won a lot of games, and uh, uh, we're, we're learning how to beat them. Uh, we beat them the last time we played them. We, we played a one-point game here last year, and, and this, for all intents and purposes, was a one-possession game. And uh, uh, so I, I, I like, I like our, our fight, and I like our, our team. I just We need to offensively execute a little bit better and uh, get in the 70s. That's our big thing. If we get in the 70s, we're going to hold people to the 50s and 60s. But tonight we couldn't get out of the 60s, and, and uh, we need to go to the foul line more and be stronger with the basketball. And then you'll go to the line, and that's how you get in the 70s.